Vilma Nunez was born in the Dominican Republic and went to Spain to study internet marketing. She was obsessed with digital marketing early on and scored an intern position at an agency in Spain. She started a blog in Spanish about digital marketing and has over 2 million monthly readers. She's the definitive authority on digital marketing for the Spanish-speaking world, and we scooped her up to share her story, passion, and feminine leadership style with all of us. She is the CEO of the leading digital marketing training company for the Spanish-speaking community. Listen as she explains how she and her husband have built their empire in this next riveting interview. Velma, it's such a pleasure to have you here with us today. Thank you so much for being here. I'm super happy to be here with you too. Why don't you start off and tell us who you are and how you got started and a little about your business. So Vilma is a self-made CEO, but when I started, I was a Dominican girl who went to Spain to do a master to learn more about social media and digital marketing because I was always passionate about digital sales, about buying online and all that stuff. So when I went to Spain, I started with a first master and then I was, I can't come back to my country because I need the real experience. But it was super hard to get a job as an immigrant. But finally, by a tweet, like my ads bot put a tweet, like we are looking for a person, passion, who want to grow, to want to learn. And I was like, that's my job. You know, I apply it to the job. And it was incredible because I was super young and he was really impressed for my CV that I had a lot of experience in Dominican, back in Dominican. And he was like, but you don't have real experience. And I was like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to learn. Don't worry. If I had to study at my home, I would do it because I want this opportunity. So they gave me this like huge opportunity and I start like learning. I asked permission to open a blog. And I started as a blogger and I was blogging about, hey, how to do a template, how to run a successful Facebook campaign. And one day, the only reader was my mom. And one day, Google started like, send me traffic. Like people were loving the content that I was putting, putting uh, online. And that was like the beginning of my digital business because at first I was giving for free, but then I saw an opportunity like to sell my digital product. And now I have like three different companies and I can teach every day what we are doing in our business. So Vilma, why you're a Dominican girl and you went to Spain? How old were you? Was it hard? Did you leave your family? Tell us more about that journey. Yes, it was hard because I really had a good life in Dominica, like a really accommodating life, okay? And I had all my family and all my friends. But what a lot of people don't know is that I was supposed to came here to Miami, but I didn't have the money to make it through. So I had to apply to a scholarship and it was in Spain. And my mom was like, you need to apply to all the scholarship. And I was, no, 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 only one shot. If I don't get it, that's a sign. I have to go to Miami, mom. I don't know, I don't care. I'm gonna have a debt for life. It doesn't matter, Miami is my place. But then my mom told me, look Vilma, let's do something. Why you don't go to Spain, you have your degree, your master, and then if you want, you go to Miami. And I was like, yes, that's, on a, pl that's a plan. It's good, I love Europe. I used to live for five years in Italy, so I was used. So I went to Spain, I started the master, but it was like weird because I was some run of all my Dominican friends. And I was like, nah, I'm not getting into the culture. I need to learn more, more from Spain. And I finished my master and I was like, okay. But it was like 11, 10, uh, 11 years ago. It, was, it wasn't a, a digital master. It was a, an advertising master. So I was like, I can't come back. I don't have the real experience. I need to work. But then it was really hard because to be legal there, I was, I needed to continue to study. So I did a second master and then I enrolled myself, myself in a PhD. <laughs> and now I understand why that happened. How everything is like, why? I, people ask me, you are so Johnny, you have a PhD. Yes but it was like an immigrant stuff to be legal in another country. So one day my dad passed away and I was like, you know what, 
I told to my husband that was my boyfriend, life is too short. You love Miami, I love Miami, let's go to Miami. And he was like, okay, let's do it. So we call a lawyer and the lawyer was like, yes, there is a visa for uh, Spanish people, you can apply. And then she was like, hey Vilma, what do you do? And my husband was like, oh my God, she's a speaker, she's a blogger, uh, she's famous. And the, the lawyer was, oh, so you can apply for a visa talent. And I was like, if you say so, okay. So she told me like, no guys, forget about the, the business that United States and Europe have. You have to apply a visa talent, but you're not ready. You are 80%. You need to get more awards. You need uh, to get more like um, PR appearance and all the stuff. And I was like, okay, I can do it. So I put my mindset like I have to go to Miami. I need to go uh, to get the visa talent. And that was like one year working. And I got to talk at, at Google Space in Madrid even. That was amazing. Like when you have the right mindset, everything came. Like you can make everything come true. So then we came to Miami, starting from scratch. All our friends were like, are you crazy? Take that money, buy a house. And no, 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 no. We are buying our future. We are buying this and it was very expensive, like all the, the lawyer stuff. And then we applied for the visa talent two days after my lawyer called me and she told me, you got it. And I was like, what? Are you okay? We got it? Yes. You now can start your business and your life in United States. So I start my business and it is amazing. So. I will be grateful for life to United States that they give me this big opportunity like to came here. But I also had to recognize that was my, my job as a blogger, my blog as a digital consultant, my job as a social media specialist. So when people ask me, internet has a, um, is good, you can earn money. Yes, you can earn money, but you can earn a lot of more stuff too. It is amazing all the opportunity that you got just to be yourself and want to give to others because that's what, I, that's, is what I do every single day. Wow, it's, it, but it sounds like from early on, you just had this passion and in, in who you are and you communicate so well, so you learned the steps of how to do it. Yeah. Um, tell us what your business is now and, and what you do and, and how you can help people. Well, we have an online school. We teach like uh, social selling, we teach digital marketing, we teach advertising, but basically we teach people how they can get to the perfect client, how they can make money through internet. And this online school also have an agency. So we work like with really big celebrity to help them to sell their knowledge to into like courses, certification and all that stuff. And it's amazing because I start by myself and now I have 40 employees and it's like, I can't believe it. This happens so fast, but that's how things work on digital. It, so do you focus on the Spanish market? Do you work with mostly English speaking I ladies? used to only work in the Spanish market, but now I saw like a big opportunity, like for a lot of people that are in uh, here in the United States and they have their business, but all in English, like we are creating a new service to like help them to jump into the Spanish market because we really know the Spanish market. We've been here like for 10 years selling education, selling knowledge, selling services. So yes, that's something that I'm looking for uh, to like start. So if I'm watching you at, and I'm home and I, I, I have a small business and I want to get it out to more people, what would your first piece of advice be? What, what can I do to help get recognition like you did so quickly? Well, First, you have to be passionate about something, like you have to feel it inside of you. For example, for me, it was always social media. And I was like the freak one of my friend because I always know about technology, about how to do all this stuff, right? And I was passionate about it. But people don't understand that to like be a real good like 
businessmen, businesswomen, you need to understand and you, you need to be a good consumer too. For example, I love to do online shopping. So I know how to sell because I love uh, uh, buying too, right? So you need passion and then you need discipline. Like I wake up every day super like happy for all the opportunity that I will have and I work really, really hard every day to get what I want, okay? To achieve my dreams, to achieve my goals. So that's like my best advice because sometimes I feel like people are passionate, but they, they are not like ready to do the work that required, okay? They don't want to do the short, the business short that you need to do in order to achieve good stuff. So yes, it's not only about passion, it's, it is also about discipline. So I have two things to say. One, I hear you have a, a small little girl, so you're busy, you're, you, it's difficult to balance everything. So tell us about your kind of work life and, and how you fit everything in because you are, you do have a lot going on. Yes, I have a little baby, 3.5 uh, years. So you can imagine this is like the perfect age. Uh, mm. Emma is amazing. Emma teach me every day, like a lot of stuff, but it's hard because you know, like I'm a CEO. So I have this responsibility of all my employee and all my clients. So I had to be a good mom, I had to be a good wife, I had to be a good boss, I had to be a good friend. And sometimes it's like, oh my God, how? How I can like make the real balance that everyone is talking. So one day I figured it out and it was like, I need to make, to make every day a decision that I'm happy. For example, I'm here today and my little baby is at school. I'm happy. She's learning, she's having fun, and I'm here working and I'm having fun too. So for example, like, yes, I need to take care of my marriage too. Okay. And even my, my husband is my, my partner. So you can imagine that's like messy sometimes, right? But like, okay, every week we have the same day and we go on a date because that's important that we take care of us doing, right? Mm -hmm. So that was like, the formula, the perfect formula that came out. Every day I make a decision, today I want to be a good daughter. So I call my mom and I spend one hour talking with, with her. Uh, I want to be with my daughter, okay. Free my schedule and I'm gonna be with my daughter today. She's not gonna go to the school and I'm not gonna go to my office. So that's it for me, like small decision make a big impact. And every day is a new day and a new opportunity. <laughs> I love what you're saying and you're choosing to step into it, but you don't try and do it all at one time. You just try to do the best you can in the moment. So um, this series talks about women and money and there's this something going on. Talk to us how you feel about women's leadership or, or what's going on with women and you're a CEO and that's unique with with a woman running a company. Tell us more about what you believe women need to do to become CEOs and to step into more money and, and that journey. Well, right now, like it's weird because for example, when my husband and I are in a mastermind, they assume that my husband is the CEO, not me. <laughs> like usually it's the man who is in front but in this case, I'm in front because I love to talk with all my employees. I love to be the face. I love to communicate, right? He's in the back and he's doing an amazing job, but people assume that he's in the front, okay? But then I realized that it was an, a mistake that we as a women do all the time because when I started, I was like, I wanna be like Tony Robin, but women. And that was a mistake because I was like looking for a reference that they were all men, but I didn't do like my job. Like, let me find like some women, some moms that I can be inspired. So I remember that one day I read this book, Girl Boss from Sofia Maruso. And it was amazing because I, I read her story and I was like, Hey, I want to be like her. She started from scratch. She wants to be different in a world full of men that, um, and she, she did it. And now she have like an empire. <laughs> okay. So then I start like, let me look for another woman, Sara, the founder of the Spence. Oh, she's a mom. <laughs> she's juggling every day as a mom, as a, as a wife, as a leader. And so I like start to following these amazing women so I can be inspired by them. 
But when we are talking about money, it's difficult because I'm even afraid to talk with some girlfriend about money, you know? Because like they only talk about, hey, vacation sometimes, or only saving, because they teach us like nine to five job, you need to save. But I never received like a investing education. Like, hey, when you see an opportunity, you need to be ready to invest. Saving is not only for the future or just in case. Saving, having money is to make more money. Like this concept about to be a money maker is weird. Like why? It is okay that I, that I can say loud that I'm a money maker? Well, yes, it's okay. It's fascinating to hear you say that because every time when I first started doing these interviews, someone said, it's great, it's easy to be rich, it's wonderful as a woman to be rich. And I looked around and I was thinking, wow, she said that out loud. And so it's almost not okay, but women are now, like you said, you need girlfriends to support. And that's what I think we're trying to do here. I love you saying, I can step forward, be a CEO, and I love it and be powerful and actually, what you're doing for us is you're, you're another Sarah. You're another girl boss that we can look towards. So tell me more about, I, I just wanna get how you see yourself and how you, when you are in front of the camera or social media, how you present yourself. I just wanna get more of you showing us how a girl boss could be. I'm real. Like I was in pajama because I'm in the middle of a lounge. <laughs> And I was in pyjama working and I was like, hey, this is me. This is the real Vilma. Vilma, sometimes I need to work at night, but I'm okay with that because I love my job. And in the day I need to run a business, but I'm also a content creator because now as a CEO, you need to be in front, communicating, launching new stuff, creating new business, and I need to be prepared and I need to prepare the content, and I need to always like be ready, like with makeup, with cameras. But I show myself as a vulnerable human being, like sometimes I cry, sometimes I'm happy, sometimes I'm sad, and I also always recognize that I ask for help. I have a coaching every single week. That's like non-negotiable. I need to do coaching every week. I it was hard for me, but people don't understand this. But in order for me to recognize that I need a nanny when my, my, my little baby was born, well, it was hard to me because I was like, no, why? I can't be a, a businesswoman and have my little baby here. No, I, need, I needed that nanny. That was like a hard decision. But now, I'm, no, 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 no. I need help and I'm going to get her. Like, that's a coach. That's a nanny that's going to help you, like, to when you have, when you are with your baby, you're having quality time. Okay. So I show that to my follower. I show that to my team. Like I want that you see the real Vilma that she's struggling like all of us sometimes that she's working hard. Some people are like, you work a lot. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I work the hours that I think I need in order to achieve my goals. I know my goals are big <laughs> and I had to do the job. Someone had to do it, right? But some people is like, no, you work too much because they don't understand that when they ask me, hey, can we go out? I'm not like, no, I can't. But what I'm really saying is like, you're not a priority. I want to put my business. I want to put my husband. I want to put my daughter as a priority now. So I won't go out with you. So that's something like, it's hard to understand. And I can't talk this with a lot of people because they don't understand, but this is how I feel. This is the new conversation women are having. Women are now stepping into, we get to celebrate each other. We get to lift each other up. We get to have these conversations. Do you ever doubt yourself? How do you feel about who you are? And, and I also want to hear about your amazing, bigger, I love, I want to know bigger and bigger and bigger what that vision is for you. Of course, I feel scared like every single day. Like right now I want to open three different companies, right? Because I know that it's the perfect moment for the market. Okay. And the market really need these kind of services and I'm afraid, but I came with a solution. Like what instead of winning like the 100% of all the money, 
I only gonna airline 70%. And I gonna look for a perfect partner that helped me to create this company, to grow this company. So I'm in this moment, like I need help. Like I can't do it alone, even with my husband, even with all my team, no. We need to find like the perfect partner, but no, not a partner that puts you money because as my mentor and uncle said, like if you need money, go to the bank, okay? If you need money, save. If you need money, like take a, a side job and get the money, no. I need a partner who helped me to run the business. I need a partner who is passionate about what we are doing, okay? So yes, it's scary because as my husband always say, <laughs> is to, to break like a partnership is harder than breaking marriage, okay? <laughs> like in business, it's yeah. really hard. <laughs> but I think this is the moment and that's gonna, I'm gonna do it. Like I see myself like, um, I have this umbrella company and I'm gonna be in the top as a CEO of a lot of company, but I want to be the inventor. I want to like design strategy. I want to have the time to think because like every time that I'm reading biography about these amazing people, they have the time to think. <laughs> they have to, the time to invent. They have, they have the time to read more. So that's my vision. I want to have yeah. more time, not only being in the operation every day, like every day I'm working to get out of the business operations so I can like create more, to make more impact, to give more. Because what I love about my business is that we give a lot for free, that we are really helping people. You are helping people and it's so fun to watch you just create and get joy from everything you're building and sharing. And most of it's just who you are. It's just so fun to just see who you are. It's so great. So the series is called The Millionaire Within Her. What does that make you want to share with us when I tell you that? That it's not only about the money. Like I am feeling every day grateful for all the opportunity that I have. Of course, money helps a lot because when you are ready and you have the right mindset, because it's also about the mindset. I remember when I started my business, I was so cheap, super cheap. I want to pay with my most valuable currency that is time instead of money. That was how cheap I was, right? But then I, was, I changed my mindset with the help of mentors, coaches, right? And now I know that money is important, but it's also important how you feel. Like, for example, for me, success, it's important, but it's not only having money, be in the top, be a CEO, um, achieve a lot of stuff. No, it's about the ability and the opportunity that I have every day to choose what I want to do. If I want to go on vacation because I need it, I can do it. My business right now work with me and without me. Like for example, that's for me what money can buy, okay? The, to choose whatever you want to do, okay? You are such an inspiration. It's a joy to see what you're creating, who you are. Um, we want to learn more from you. Please just keep sharing, keep growing. You, you're a girl boss, babe, girl <laughs> boss. Thank Thanks. you so much for being here. Thanks, it was a pleasure. I learned so much about decisions for resources and time from Vilma, talking about her work, her role as CEO, her husband and her role as a wife and daughter and role as a mother. She lets us know it's a decision and one that we can make to help every role we have to make it more meaningful and fulfilling. Hi, my name is Karen Thomas. But guess what? That is not important. What's important is your success online. I can help you start a successful, thriving business online no matter how many times you have failed. If you have a desire to win, you can. All you need is Wi-Fi, a laptop or desktop, and be able to follow simple directions. Reach out to me and I can show you exactly how.